Hello and welcome to the Easy Odds Day 5 Euro 2016 video cast. Now we've got a few winners already in the bag. Gareth yep. Bell to score any time. Uh, France to win both teams to score. France to win both teams to score. 17 to 5. Yeah. That was a really top, good top one, yeah. Tip. Gareth right. Bell to score. And also in the outright one, Gareth Bell to be top Wales goal scorer. That's Absolutely. Looking, that's looking yep, decent. Looking good. Not, not Northern Ireland not to score a goal. And if you haven't seen that good. video and you're thinking, well, Gareth Bell to score, top, top Wales goal scorer, yeah, that's a good tip. Or like 1 to 10. 6 to 5. 6 to 5. Tip. So yeah, as long as how Robson can only stop scoring goals. Yeah, never, never <laughs> he's never going to stop scoring goals. <laughs> okay, first game up on day five is Austria v Hungary. Uh, could be a tight game. What, who, who's the favourites in this one? Yeah, um, I think it will be a quite a tight game, Jake. Yeah, um, correct. Um, bookies have installed Austria as favourites for this game. Uh, best price three to four, so odds on. Um, so the bookies fancy them quite a bit here. Um, they won nine out of the ten games in qualifying, so they qualified pretty handsomely in a group with the likes of Russia and Sweden, which is no mean feat. So, um, as England found out, as England found out, yeah, that's less said about that the better. Mm. Um, however, is it really as uh, simple as that? Um, Marcel Moller's side, you can understand why. I, I guess when when you look at the qualifying, but since they've um, qualified, they haven't been particularly great. Um, whereas Hungary. Um, they're a hard-working team, they've got no real name players, um, really, unless you count uh, Zoltan Gira, who's an absolute Premier League legend. <laughs> um, but looking at the recent results, I'd be hard-pressed to find the fact that 3-4 to four is a great price. Um, I think it's a risky one at 3-4. to four. Um, Hungary have lost just two of the last um, six games. They held Croatia, who showed that they were a decent side yesterday in the Euro game. Um, they held them to a 1-1 to a draw a few weeks ago as well as then following that up with a 0-0 draw against Ivory Coast, one of the better teams in the, in the African nations. Um, so they're hardly a team to really um, say that they're definitely going to lose this game. 19-4 to I think is a fairly decent price on them to win the game. I don't think that they will win the game. However, I do think um, possibly backing them in the double chance market, market is a really good price here. 7-6. to six. So that's odds against for them to, to either draw or win this game. Um, I, I just think that's a smarter bet than backing Austria to, to win the game. Austria have lost three of the last six games now um, coming into this competition. They've lost to Switzerland, Turkey and Holland, uh, proving that um, whilst their amazing qualifying form has happened, but it's in the past now, You've got to look into the friendly form as well as the qualifying form, in my view, especially when you're up against um, the sides in the competition, which those three teams all are. Uh, oh, sorry, um, two, two of the teams are. Holland, of course, crazily didn't make the tournament and since have beaten the likes of Poland and um, Austria as well, so that shows how bizarre their qualification yeah. was. Um, but, to, but, but to have only lost 1 in 12, and they put in a decent showing in the last game against Germany where they only lost 2-0. Obviously, Germany are one of the better sides in the tournament. Um, I think Hungary are going to play... Much like Northern Ireland did, they're not going to have much of the ball. They averaged around 36% of the play in their matches in, in, in qualifying, and they got more yellow cards than any other side in qualifying. So you know full well what Austria are up against there. They're going to be hard to break down. They're going to be yeah. pretty rough and ready um, for this game. And I'm not entirely sure that Austria are going to be able to hold up to it. So I think back in uh, Hungary, d double chance at 7-6 to to six is just a, a brave, albeit, but... Just a bit of a wiser bet than going with Austria to, to, to win the game. We've proven in recent weeks and matches that they're a bit hit, hit or miss. Okay, okay, that's interesting. Hungary double chance seven to six odds against for a double chance is always pretty nice. Quite, yeah, quite, I like not being nervous if we won no odds. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, but um, uh, that, have you got anything else for this game that's kind of interested you? Yeah, I have got a pretty interesting one here, um, and it's the Hungary main man who's Balas Dusak. Really good player, um, played for that the likes of su superb pronunciation. <laughs> oh, thanks very much. <laughs> um, superb. He's played for the likes of um, Dinamo Moscow, PSV Eindhoven. He's 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 been around the block a few times. He's played Champions League football, um, and his best price here thirteen to two to score compared to his worst price of four to one. He's definitely their most um, prolific player. He's he's good on the ball. He's pacey. He's a decent wide player, and he's got a good, and, it, and he's got a knife for goal. He scored it against Croatia in the friendly um, just this past month and I think decent price there 13-2 to two just to score a goal up against the Austrian side who will be pushing forward for the game so there could be pockets in behind once they do push forward um, if he's up against the likes of Christian Fuchs on that side who's a good player but he's not necessarily 
the fastest of players. Yeah. Um, and he's got a rocket of a shot. He also takes free kicks. So I think 13 to 2, decent price there, um, especially when his worst price is 4 to 1. That's um, a key situation here with easy odds. We always try and find the best value bet. Yep. And that's, it, that's it, the exact same selection. You could get 4 to 1 with one bookmaker or use easy odds service, find out what the best price is, and that's 13 to 2. Yeah. So, 13 to 2, not 4 to 1. <laughs> and 7 to 6 double chance that's decent I'm happy with that yeah next up we've got the big game starts at 8 o'clock only two games today which is a bit disappointing yeah, it's a dis- disappointment for all but um, what organiser <laughs> god no it's probably Seth Blair <laughs> angrily just annoyed at that. annoyed at everyone so he just you're only having two games today <laughs> that's it right Portugal v Iceland 8pm the big Ronaldo factor Absolutely, What's yeah. What's going on? What's going um, on? Who's the favourite? It's Portugal, Iceland, uh, the second game in Group F. Um, the bookies have installed Portugal as firm favourites here. Best price, 8-13. to 13. They smashed the qualifying group. They won 7. They lost 1, surprisingly. Um, Fernando Santos' side, short price favourites there, 8-13. to 13, If you can understand why. Yeah. Um, but I'm actually going to stay away from that. I think that's too short to, to back as a tip and say, that's like, well done, you back Portugal t- to beat Iceland. Um <laughs> I'm going to go for Cristiano Ronaldo t- t- to score any time. I think it's just b- a better price. Almost even money there. 19 to 20, I think, is really, really good value just to, t- to score a goal. Um, he scored a ludicrous 53 goals this season. Um, he-, he scored twice in their final warm-up game against Estonia. Um, he was He's also my tip for top goal scorer. Um, I-, I think in this tip, in this group, group F, he's going to be playing... Hungary, Iceland and Austria all, all, all sides that he'll probably fancy scoring against and yeah. um, he could get the uh, golden boot done and dusted in those three games possibly mm. um, I, th- I just think 19 to 20 is a really good price I would expect I would have expected him to be closer to the 3 t- to 4 price really okay. so, to, so to be able to get 19 to 20 on him to score is really good Iceland have conceded 8 goals in the last 2 fixtures against Portugal so past history says that they struggled to keep Portugal out he's, he's actually only scored one of those goals in the past which is a bit a bit of a surprise but he still scored against them. Um, he, um, they've let in 16 goals in the last eight games. So they're averaging, conceding two goals a game. Yeah. Uh, so I just think a 19 to 20 on him to score any time is, is a decent bet. He's the best price, three to one to score first. If you want to get a, to squeeze a bit more value out, but, but of course that's a bit more of a risk because you're in yeah. um, backing one goal there, um, and it's the first one. So if he doesn't score the first and then scores second. Then you don't win your bet. Whereas if you go any any time, then then we win our bet. Of course. Um, so also he's on set piece and penalty duty, which he'll take every single one of them because he's an egotistical man and he, <laughs> and he wants to score as many goals as he can. Yeah. And also I think um, there's a um, a slight bit of a rocket up in there as as well in the fact that Bale scored a free kick earlier. Mm. And even though he's a teammate of his, it's pretty clear that they've got a kind of a friendly rivalry going. And the fact that Bale scored, I think, will run him up a little bit and be friendly. like friendly. <laughs> Run the edge of friendly, bit. I call it, and uh, he'll be pretty desperate to, to score on this one. So yeah, nineteen to twenty on Cristiano Ronaldo just to score against Iceland. I just think really, really nice bet there. Yeah. Okay. I mean, nineteen to twenty. When you think of um, sometimes when you see Messi or Ronaldo in La Liga games at uh, evens or seven yeah, to four to score any yeah. time, they're playing Iceland. Yeah. He should really score, I think. And Portugal. Absolutely. I think Portugal underrated. I, I'm there. I've got a good feeling about Portugal. Yeah, they've got a good group, haven't they? Yeah, they've got a good group, and I think, and, and also they're on England's side. It's like I think it's if they get through, they play Italy, and then maybe England, or yeah. maybe not England now. Else. <laughs> yeah, someone else, Wales now. or something. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that would be good if uh, Bale and Cristiano could come come face to face. That would be yeah. interesting. Um, but yeah, um, nineteen to twenty, there best price to go along with my, th- um, sorry, my uh, seven to six hungry double chance, and also a Balash Dujak goal at thirteen to two. Mm. Okay, so that's day five? Day five. Day yes. five, absolutely <laughs> sorted. Some of the tips have been pretty unlucky recently. I yeah. mean, England to win, obviously that was ridiculous. And then... Um, Albania, both teams to score. was. Uh, a, oh, I couldn't believe that, that they didn't score that goal. That um, absolutely. Overs awesome. in the Ukraine game, I couldn't believe that that wasn't overs. Yeah, we've been pretty, pretty unlucky. We've been kind of a goal out for a while here. Yeah. So um, fingers crossed um, that we're hit two or three winners for on this one and put, and put me firmly, firmly back in private. I'm only just slightly out of profit so far. Yeah. Um, but obviously there's a long way to yeah. go. Keep I on have faith. Keep on trucking. Um, and I've also got lot, plenty of outright tips on site um, that are doing pretty well at the moment mm. um, so, thus far. So fingers crossed for those as well because I've got tips for all the groups and that, and that type of thing. So make sure that you download the app for that which will be um, 
a link will be underneath in the link description. Make sure you click on the watermark, the Easy Oz watermark, just at the bottom of the screen to get our daily tips from myself and also weekly horse racing tips from Jake, including the Royal Ascot tips, which are, of course, they're happening tomorrow for the next few days. And uh, Jake's got a, t a tips video up for the, the three Group 1 races on Tuesday. Yep. So make sure that you subscribe to us there. And thanks very much for watching. All the best with your betting for Euro 2016 and Royal Ascot. This is Ross Casey for Easy Odds, and this is Jay Johns. Bye. Bye. <laughs>